Okay, so we're going to go through primary and secondary sources one. Uh, this is just numbers one through 10. Uh, we will go through 11 through 20 in the next video. Um, so I'm going to do this on Kami, but you will be able to edit your Google Doc uh, straight from Classroom. So you'll just be able to type right on it. Um, and remember, pause this video, rewind it, anything you need to do to make sure that you understand. Um, if you get stuck, just let me know and we'll talk about it, okay? Um, so remember, primary source is something that's from the time period or event or uh, place or person or whatever. Um, a secondary source had to be researched to be told about. It wasn't from that time period or that person or whatever. So we are going to identify each of the following as a primary or a secondary source. Number one, a 2016 TV show explaining what happened in Vietnam. Well, Vietnam was not in 2016. It's a TV show about that time, so long ago. So that would be a secondary source. Number two, a biography about Abraham Lincoln. Remember, a biography is a story about somebody written by somebody else. So that person, whoever wrote that story, that biography about Abraham Lincoln, had to research Lincoln. Uh, it wasn't Lincoln himself, so that has to be secondary as well. Um, number three, Abraham Lincoln's diary describing what he thought about the Civil War. It's his diary. It's his thoughts. That's primary. Number four, an actor describing what it is like on the set of a movie. The actor presumably is in movies, so he should know what he's talking about. That is a primary source. Number five, a journal article written about how Native Americans lived. So this isn't a journal. This is a journal article. That is a scholarly article. That means that there have been several people who have researched this and it has been peer reviewed. So... They had to learn about how Native Americans lived before they wrote about it. That's a secondary source. Number six, a website describing what the first World's Fair was like. That would be a secondary source. So that's one through six. Number seven, a newspaper article from 1941 describing the attack on Pearl Harbor. That is the time that it happened, so that would be a primary source. Number eight, an autobiography about Bill Clinton. Autobiography is a story about somebody written by that person. So in this case, it's a story about Bill Clinton written by Bill Clinton. That is going to be a primary source. Number nine, a friend describing the snowstorm he was in last year. So they were there, they experienced it, they're telling you about it. That's a primary source. And number 10, the Declaration of Independence. That's a government document. Any kind of government document, even copies, are always primary sources. All right, so that's one through 10. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you need me to discuss anything further, I'll be happy to do that. Um, check back for the second video for the next class period, which will be the rest of this worksheet, 11 through 20. Hope to see you guys soon.